Colin Johns, tip number six, drive middle or sideline. Don't drive cross court. Don't do it. <laughs> Pickleball lovers, please leave your comments. Please subscribe and don't forget to have a good day. You won't have a good day if your partner's driving cross court for many reasons. First of all, when you drive cross court, you open too many angles up, right? Second of all, take a look at the waters. That driving, Anna Lee Waters is pinching middle, right? Because she knows where the ball's going. They're almost forming a wall. And many times to the back end, that'll be an easy pop-up. So she is looking for that. When you drive to that back end, you get easy pop-ups. You really do. Go ahead, Joey. So Colin John says, don't drive cross court. Why does he say this? There's a number of reasons. For one, you open up way too many angles for your opponents. Way too many angles. This is such a good example. Ed Perez is in green. Just drove down the line at the person's backhand. Let's see that in slow motion. Look at how tough of a shot that is, right? Could have been popped up. David's ready and they get into the kitchen because that's what they want to do. But look, down the line at the person's backhand, David knows exactly where Ed's hitting it. Joey, what else do we need? Two, you want to drive at your opponent's backhand. It's a general rule. They can't do as much with the backhand. They can put away the forehand a lot easier. Now, hear me out. If you drive cross court, you are driving at one of your opponent's forehand, right? One of them, because you're driving cross court and you open up so many angles. Go back to number one. <laughs> Take a look at these two points because this is such a good example of going to the person's backhand and getting an easy point. When I go to the person's backhand, I don't want to swing too hard. I want to make it sink, right? Make it sink, make it move left to right even. And if I'm hitting too hard, it's going to come back too hard. So think about that. And that's another example of hitting to the person's backhand and getting an easy, easy point. I like that word, easy points. And that's what you get when you handcuff them, go to that backhand, make it sink. And if you miss your spot, it's okay. It's okay because it's on that backhand. It's scientifically proven tougher to put a backhand volley away than a forehand. I've done the research. Three, if your partner is shaking bacon and you're driving at the baseline, that pinch and middle in the kitchen, right? If that pinch and middle, they want to face your opponent, you're driving this way. If you drive cross court, you open up way too many angles and they'll be in trouble. Go back to one. This <laughs> happened yesterday. And take a look. I'm going at David's forehand. Why am I doing it? Because they are stacking. I see him running. And this is another viable option if your partners are stacking. One more thing. Take a look at Eric. He's in the near right-hand corner. Pro tennis player pretty much, right? He's going to be pro. But he's not pinch in middle. If you see your partner is driving, pinch middle because he would get some easy points. Joey, what else do we need to know? And here's a quick driving tip sponsored by Keith Valentine's birthday. It's his birthday yesterday. <laughs> oh, you're getting yourself off balance when you're hitting that. And it's all you have to add. This is all you have to add. A small step this way, straight to the fence. What's happening is you're going too far across your body with this. As you hit, you're almost off balance, I feel. Just watch, I take just a small step this way and it corrects everything, everything, ready? small step and then I go but that way I'm pushing off this foot what's happening all your weights going to this foot by taking that small step it allows you to clear your hips you get more power so you can drive down the line of the person's backhand pickleball lovers if you like this Colin John's pickleball tip check out that Colin John's pickleball tip really good video and don't forget to have a good day